why is it when I put lipstick on, <laughs> it doesn't just go on my lips, it goes everywhere, look. Chilling on the bottle, chilling actually on the side of the bottle, fingers, hands, everywhere, on my trousers, don't worry about it, and here, on the side of this bottle, I haven't even picked you up. In shower body moisturiser, I don't even know. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining me now, then hello, my name's Imogen. Thank you so much for finding me. I don't know how you found me, but I'm so grateful. Please stay. I've created this makeup look, which I am so proud of myself for creating. I think this makeup look is so cute. It's so pretty. It's vampy. It's sexy. It's cute. It's, I don't even know what else to call it. I'm running out of adjectives, but I love it so much. You can pair it with a nude lip. You can pair it with a dark lip, but I've gone all out. I went in. So if you want to see how I got this makeup look for a Christmas party glam, let's glow like the disco balls that we are. Do you know what I mean? Like, we are disco balls. Did anyone tell you today that you are disco ball? So we need to glow like those disco balls, don't we? So let's get on with the makeup. Whee! <laughs> I'm so strange. If you're new here, by the way, please hit the subscribe button. I'd be so grateful if you joined my family of Huns. You probably don't want to after that intro, but hello. Please hit the subscribe button. I don't know where it is, but yeah. I'm alright at makeup and I'm getting better. I promise you I'm getting better. This makeup look is... is we're moving on to bigger things, Hans. We're moving on to bigger things. Like I'm really proud of myself. Let's start the tutorial. Woo! P.S. How cute. It says doll. Oh, how cute. My little dolls. Is that a little bit too close, honeys? I hope it's not. No, it's never too close to my angels. It's never too close. So I've done this eye and I'm actually buzzing off it. Obviously I haven't finished anything underneath or like done the glitter on the inside, but we're going to do this eye, then we're going to do the face. Yeah. You know the gist, anyway. Okay, so we're taking this. <gasps> let me move out of frame and let this baby move in. I love the Violet Voss Holy Grail palette. I love, oh, apparently I love it that much. I actually just, just dug my nail into this one. Wonderful. Okay, so first we're gonna take the transition color. I love the fact it says transition. So helpful for us. Okay, so, well, for me. So I'm gonna take this on a tapered blending brush from Sigma and we're just gonna go into the crease. We're gonna go quite high up with this. We're also gonna go all the way down to our inner corner because this way, when we put the pink there, it should all just merge into one, you know? I had a really scary dream last night, but I don't actually know what it was about, but I woke up like scared. I must have forgotten it as soon as I woke up, but I was like, <gasps> oh. I don't know about anyone else, but when I used to be in a relationship, I used to have a nightmare about my boyfriend cheating on me, right? I'd wake up and you actually believe it's real. And you're like, I know what you did. And you feel like, and then they're like, Imogen, it was a dream, it was a dream. And you're still like, it's still in your head, it's so weird. It's so weird. If you haven't experienced that, then I'm buzzing for you, but unfortunately, I used to get that. Then on my NYX number 16 brush, like this, we are gonna take Bestie. Did I point to the right one? Right there. Oh God, okay, we're gonna take, oh, it's so difficult when it's upside down. It would be helpful if I just showed you like this, wouldn't it? Okay, we're gonna take Bestie and are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, we're gonna mix those two together. She my bestie, bestie, she my bestie. And then what we're gonna do is, I would, should probably say that before I start singing. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna darken the crease with this, but we're not gonna take this too high up. It doesn't matter if you come onto the lid, but don't take it too high up, because that way you can see the blend. I think this blend on this eye is actually quite good for me. I think it's, I think it's good. I'm gonna say it's good, you know? You gotta be your number one fan, humbuns. You gotta promote yourselves, do you know what I mean? Because there are enough people who will bring you down in this world. You've gotta be the one person that's like, no, I think my blend is sick. <laughs> Just darkening that further than angels. Keep building this up until you can see the gradient, if you know what I mean. I always feel like I'm looking down and I'm like, I just wanna look at my angels. Then angels on my NYX, oh, couldn't find it, number 14 brush. Is it number 14? Number 13, I just looked at it and still couldn't get it right. I'm gonna take wine and dine. I literally just looked at it and was like, right, it's number 13, but still got it wrong. I'm gonna take a flat shader brush for this because I need to build up the color and I just need to pat, I don't need to blend this yet. So we're just gonna pat this on the outer corner and the inner corner, building this color up as much as you can. Don't worry how close you come in together and don't worry about if it doesn't look blended yet because we will blend it, I promise you. It's the month of Christmas. This is so exciting, I can't even deal. When I was younger, I think I used to think about Christmas as it just always being about, oh, writing a list to Santa and getting presents. And I think as a kid, sometimes you do think that. But as you grow up, obviously I wasn't a brat and I wasn't like, I want this, I want that. And then I would get it straight away. It wasn't like that in the slightest. But what I mean is when you're younger, you really don't look at Christmas in the way you do when you're older. Like now, I don't ask for anything. I don't want for anything. I feel so lucky in my life to be happy and be content and be loved that I don't want anything. But 
I love to give back to people. Like, I love giving presents to people. I love seeing their reaction. I love seeing how happy they get. It's just so nice. It's so nice. Like, and when you get older, you realise how lucky you actually are just to be in the comfort of people you love. Because some people aren't fortunate enough to have that. And if you aren't fortunate enough to have your family around, then honestly, my heart is completely with you. I wish you could all come round my house. I would love that so much. Spend Christmas at the Hudson's. Every year we alternate it. So one year I'll go to my mum's, the next year we go to my dad's. Okay, what you want to do now is just connect the two lines up. Don't worry about blending it yet because we're going to do that. But just connect those two lines together. Hi. Then we're going to go back with our two... We're not going to go back, but I've already used it. We're going to go in with a 227 Zoeva. You can use any definer brush. You can use any blending brush, but I'm going to use this one. It was actually clean. You want a clean one, but it was clean until I used it on the other eye. And we're just going to blend that all in together, just there. So there's no harsh lines, you know? You know all that jazz and all that ting. But it's Christmas soon! Oh! And what we're going to do is, before we go in with the pigment, we're going to go in with this, this, and this. So we're just going to mix them all together on my concealer brush. Favourite brush for this, favourite brush. This is, yeah, this is a concealer brush. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna brush down in the centre. Don't worry again about being precise, but just building up a kind of halo eye. Not really, but it will get halo-y, promise. I thought I'd do a couple of Christmas makeup looks on my channel because why not? Why not? I always get nervous about putting makeup tutorials up though, I really do because I know I'm not a beauty guru, I know that I'm not amazing at makeup, I don't claim to be, but I feel so lucky that I'm able to put stuff like this on my channel and if anyone watches it then that's a bonus, that is just the biggest bonus in the world, like I just feel so grateful, so it's all a work in progress and you get to join me on my journey, don't you angels? You get to watch me improve and we get to improve together, I think that's the most important thing. Don't worry about all this drop down by the way, we're gonna wipe it away with a wipe, we're gonna wipe it away with a wipe. The names of the colours that I'm using by the way, because I just pointed at them aren't that didn't I, is So Jelly, On Fleek and Cranberry Splash. You so jelly that I'm getting wind and down. Thanks a lot, eh, bestie. But my eyes, teddy bear. I was just trying to make like a little line up. Can we make a line up? How are you doing, hashtag? Okay, let's make a line up of all these names. Let's do this. How are you doing, hashtag chill? Oh, you so jelly. You on fleek, cause I'm getting wind and down. Thanks a lot, eh, but I only need my bestie. Are you kidding me? Oh no, I went wrong, I went wrong. I was trying to make. I could have done so well then. I could have done so well. I couldn't actually have done that well, but I think that was quite good. That was so cringe, wasn't it? Then for the finale, it's not the finale in the slightest, but oh, actually no. Okay, I'm gonna take my small tapered blending brush, E45. I'm gonna go in with Crystal and Thanks a Latte. And that's just gonna be our brow bone ting, you know? Then we're gonna go back in with our transition color from earlier and blend that all together. Then because we've been blending some of the pigment on the wine and dine, oh, also you've got a hair image in, thank you. Some of the pigment on the wine and dine has just decreased a tiny bit. So let's just build that up a tiny bit more. Just because we want it to be extremely cranberry, purpley, pinky, beautiful, doll-like, angel, Christmas, I don't even know. Just stop talking. Would you rather me to do my makeup tutorials in silence? Because I, I would do it if you want. <laughs> no, I don't think I could actually, I don't think I could. It's difficult because I know I'm just talking to a camera, but I definitely, definitely don't feel like that. Like, I'm talking to my angels, do you know what I mean? Like, I genuinely feel like this is why I love uploading, because it means I get to talk to all of you. Do you know what I mean? Okay, we're gonna go in with the final, the finale. It's not the finale, but it's the big reveal. Oh, I don't even know what it is. Okay, so these are the Steeler Magnificent Metals. Look how pretty these colours are. So this is the... I was just gonna say it's the pink, but it's definitely not. It's called Ballet Baby, cute, and Diamond Dust. So I'm gonna mix the two on my eyes, not in a mixing pot. Okay, firstly, we're gonna go in with Ballet Baby, and you can just be quite rough with this, but just going in the center. This is just gonna be your halo. Sometimes with halo eyes, you can conceal them and then put your pigment on top, but because these are so pigmented, you don't need to actually do too much. Look how cute! I mean, obviously it looks a bit funny right now, but just wait, it will look nice. I hope anyway. It's best off to use the spatula of these, because when I got told by someone that actually works for Steeler, and she told me, the baby girl, the little angel, she told me that um, you don't need to use any other brush other than the ones that it comes with, because they're better. Because when you put it on something else, the pigment doesn't come out as much, so I'm going to trust their judgement, because obviously they know what they're doing, because they work for Steeler, <laughs> rather than my judgement. Then we're just going to pat the diamond dust on top. Don't worry about the edges, we're going to blend them out soon. 
What are my angels' plans for Christmas? What are you all doing for Christmas? Tell me everything. Tell me everything. And what are you asking for? Tell me everything I want to know. Write down in the comment section what you're asking for for Christmas. Or write down in the comment section whether you like receiving gifts or giving them more. I mean, listen, don't even worry about it. If you like receiving them, hun, you tell me about it. You tell me about it. I wish I could give you all presents. My present to you is that I'll always unconditionally love you and be with you forever. I hope I can do YouTube forever. So that's my present. I don't even know. So we'll wait for that to dry a tiny bit. And then we're going to, oh, we can blend out the edges now. So we're going to go back in with the concealer brush that we used. And we're going to go in those three shades again. And we're just going to go over the edges just to blend that out. Just ever so slightly. Very gently as well. Look at all that fallout in my It's all right, we're building up color. It's allowed. Do you know what I mean? We're allowed. Let me off, please, angels. Then we're gonna go back in with a little bit of wine and dine again and just build up that color and also blend out the edges. Take my small taper blending brush again and go back into wine and dine. Where you've done the edge there, we're just gonna go into the edge where your crease sits, just to blend it out, to make sure it sort of just looks as if it's just flowing into your forehead. I don't even know what I was saying. <laughs> then we're gonna go back in with our transition color again. You can never get enough of that transition color. Just keep blending that transition colour into everything and it should be fine. <laughs> transition for the win, angels, you know it. Put some lashes on, put some mascara on and then sharpen up this line with a little wipe and I'll be right back at ya. Right back with you, right back at ya. You know. Okay, angels, I've zoomed you out a little bit more now so we can get on with the face and then we'll go underneath our eyes. I shouldn't have touched that because I've probably got glitter all over my hands. Well done, Imogen. Also, when I put my lashes on, oh, I'll link everything I've used below as well as my lashes, everything I'm going to use today, I'll link it all below. You know I got you. You know I got you. But when I put my lashes on, I also went over the top, I'm hoping it worked, with a little bit of black liner, just because sometimes you can see my glue. So I just went over a tiny bit with black liner, but hope it works. I hope it works. To prime my face, I'm going to take the Stila Stay All Day 10 in 1 HD Illuminating Beauty Balm. And I'm actually just going to take this on my fingers and hands. And just rub this in. This is so lovely. I love this product. Like, I can't even explain it to you slash shouldn't have used my hands because now I can't actually see. I'm just gonna use the viewfinder and see what that's saying. Oh, I love this. You know, sometimes I actually just wear this with nothing on. Obviously clothes, ha 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 Thought it was funny then. But I usually sometimes just wear this with nothing, no other makeup on. It's just so nice. Look, it gives you this beautiful soft glow. I find it keeps my makeup on all day when I use it as a primer. I can wear it as just a nice moisturizing beauty balm. I love it. I've used three Stila products today. All right. See, Le, Hans, get in contact. <laughs> Only joking. Just ignore me. I think I'm funny. The foundation today, we're going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 220. We're going to put that, squeeze that. Oh, that was horrible. That wasn't very nice, was it? <laughs> and then I'm going to take my other favourite, the Infallible Total Cover 24 from L'Oreal, Total Cover Foundation number 24. Mix that in together like that. Way Stay in the back of your hand. No, I don't. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Morphe. I've loved this brush at the moment. The Morphe M439. And just blend that onto my skin. I find that the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless <laughs> isn't matte and poreless, so it's very dewy. So mixed in with something that's very matte, like the L'Oreal Infallible, it just instantly gives you this beautiful sheen, but also a little bit matte, amazing coverage. Like, I can't even explain to you. This is my favourite foundation combo ever. Plus, I love this brush. I find that it just blends it into my skin and just makes it look like seamless. Not that I've got seams, not that I'm like some kind of patchwork thing, but <gasps> you know what I mean. You get me. Like, look at that. I love it. I love it. I don't know about anyone else, but does anyone else always get it in their hair? Like, even when I use those bands, like, to get my hair off my face, I always get it in my hair. I find myself, like, brushing it out of my hair. <laughs> I don't really care, because we need to get up into that hairline, do you know what I mean? Because that's a telltale. Because my foundation's a little bit darker than my skin, because my face is more pale than my, my neck and my body. My, 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 I just said that, didn't I? When I have a foundation, I like to get a shade up. I do actually like to get a shade darker. I don't really like to match my skin colour because I feel like I like to match my neck, you know? Anyway, so then when I'm brushing it up, but I need to go in the hairline. Oh, I don't need to get my hair in my foundation. That's not very nice, is it? Let's get the concealer. Let's start concealing. I'm going to take two concealers today. I'm going to take the NYX HD concealer and I'm also going to just chill with that little flyaway bit and tuck it behind my ears, my little earmuffs. I'm going to take the NYX HD Concealer in Beige and I'm going to take the Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer in Fair. I actually have this in Cool Medium somewhere, but I did a haul on it and I couldn't find where I put it after the haul. Well done, Imogen. So, this one is going to give us highlight. The other one is going to go under our eyes. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Wow. I know. 
It's difficult, it's difficult. <laughs> Only joking. Okay, then I'm gonna take my NYX HD concealer and place this one under my eyes. This one's a little bit more yellow toned, which I'm buzzing off. The other one's just gonna give us a bit more highlight. Is my voice a bit croaky? I think it's because it's early morning, early doors. My dad came in and went, it's half 10 in the morning, Imogen. Come on, good afternoon. Was it half 10? It was 8 a.m., Hans. He loves to do that. Then I'm gonna wet my beauty blender with some Mario Badesco. I could wet it with water, but I'd rather just chill with my hands and sit here than have to go up, so I'm just gonna wet it with that. Also, I like this. Oh, apparently the mirror doesn't like it because it's gone all faded. Thank you. I can even have a little mirror. Oh, I have a little mirror on this. We're gonna use the little mirror on this for the moment. Oh no, we can't because that's dirty. <laughs> Okay, let me just wipe this. Oh God. What are you like, Imogen? What are you like? Let's just blend this out with a booty blender. And we're gonna keep that line very sharp like that. I like having the white there because I feel like, look, gives you instant highlight. Do you know what I mean? I mean, people might disagree, but I'm buzzing off it. There as well, just the excess, put a little bit there. I look at these girls and they can put up makeup tutorials for like seven minutes, a full face, a seven minute, full face of makeup like and they beat their face and they're amazing how do they do it in seven minutes i mean obviously they don't do it in seven minutes they edit it to be seven minutes but i can't do that the shortest makeup tutorial i think i could ever do is 20 minutes i don't know let's try and make this short shall we if i got it under 20 minutes then give it a thumbs up if i didn't get it under 20 minutes please still give it a thumbs up <laughs> We are actually going to bake slightly today, Hans. I'm going to take my Too Faced Born This Way powder and we are going to bake because we want this to be Christmas party glam. We want this to last Christmas, New Year, Boxing Day, whatever. <laughs> I'm, going to take a, I'm going to take a new beauty blender. It's a new one. It's very exciting. I'm just going to pat this under our eyes. Like, I love it when people watch my makeup tutorials because it's really nice because, don't get me wrong, I love it when anyone watches any video of mine, but it's really nice when someone watches my makeup tutorials and then recreates it. Like, you can actually, oh, get it on your ear. Like, when people recreate your makeup looks, it's such a, it's such an amazing feeling because you think, I don't think I'm amazing at all, but when someone actually decides that they like your video enough to go and recreate your makeup look and try it, it makes me feel like, it makes me feel so special. That's what it makes me feel like. It makes me feel so special. I'm like, Oh my God, people must actually think I'm okay at makeup. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm not sitting here saying I'm bad, but I'm also not sitting here saying I'm the best. So when people actually recognize that they like my, I don't know, it just makes me feel so nice. Because there's so many people that people can recreate. There's so many amazing makeup artists on YouTube that are just insane, self-taught, amazing, insane. And I'm like, people are actually choosing to watch mine. Don't know why, but thanks. I think this is my best look right now, don't you? Do you, Hans? I think I should just finish it there, do you know what I mean? Christmas party glam, come in and people will be like, oh, what are you? And I'm gonna be like, this is me, babes. This is real, this is me. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be now. Shine on me. I love that song, what's it from? Camp, Camp Rock? Camp Rock with Demi Lovato. I love that on the Disney Channel. I don't care how old you are, Disney Channel, Disney Channel Films, Disney Channel Girls, Demi Lovato, she came through. I love Lizzie McGuire. Oh my God, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Speaking of which, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody boys are the dream. They are the dream. Like, they're so fit. When they were younger, I didn't really look at them like that. I just thought they were cute. Now I'm like, oh God, <laughs> ignore me. Well, try not to, try to. Do so, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm just gonna swipe off the bake from there. Let the rest of the bake just chill and sit. And that way, if we get any fallout, we can dust it all off together. Do you know what I mean? I say, do you know what I mean a lot? My mum says I do. Oh, look at this. Look, she just wants to chill. And sometimes, she, look, she does a little, there you go. Little earmuffs, cute. Keep me warm in the winter. Oh, dropping everything all over the shop. Okay, we're gonna take my Morphe E18 and we're gonna go into, mm, mm. Okay, let's first go into Are You Kidding Me? Let's go into Are You Kidding Me first, just to create that colour underneath. I know this is pink and this is bright and stuff, but I do think this is quite wearable. I'm buzzing off it. Like, I know that, I know, fair enough, like, of course, pink is bright and sometimes people don't like colour on their eyes, but try it, Huns. Try and be colourful. Try and experiment something and, and tag me in it. Even if you don't do this makeup tutorial, tag me in something that you've recreated that was out of your comfort zone. Because who cares? Who cares what people think of you you i think sometimes we hold back so much oh let me go into the next shade okay then let's go into wine and dine but the thing is i know what it's like because when i was younger 
And even, you know, however old you are, we hold ourselves back from so much because I think we're so scared of what other people will think of us. Oh, if I wear this on my eyes, because I know what it's like, you know when you get your hair cut and you go out in town and people are like, you think everyone's staring at you, but they're not, they're not, but it's because we get insecure about something. Let's try, as we're going into the new year, let's try together to just branch out because you feel so amazing after you've done it. You're like, do you know what? I'm wearing pink on my eyes, not even pink, wearing whatever you want on your eyes, but I'm doing something different today and I'm proud of myself because I've branched out of my comfort zone. And my brother, little brother got braces, right? And he was really, really nervous about it, really scared about it, really didn't want to do it. And we had a bit of a bit of a nightmare, not gonna lie to you. I had to actually get in the chair. I was like, Hugo, if I do it, will you do it? Anyway, so I got in the chair and helped him and showed him that it's okay not to get my braces done, but I had like um this little thing. I never had braces, so I don't know what it's like, but apparently it's horrible and it's really scary. And I can understand he's young. And anyway, he did it in the end and he did his top teeth and he has to go back and do the bottom. But he came out of it and he was like, I feel so good that I did that. And I said, see, Hugo, you were so nervous about it. It took us about an hour to get you in the chair. But now, and then he was like, I wish I got the bottom ones done. And I was like, I'm so proud of you because you branched out and did something you, you didn't think you were gonna do. He literally got out of the chair. He was like, no, not doing this. He swore, he was like, no, F this. I was like, Hugo, don't swear, but he was so scared. <gasps> Little bubby. But he did it and I'm so proud of him. I couldn't stop crying. I couldn't stop crying. Wipe off this bake, angel faces. Let's get rid of the bake. So we can start doing more on our face, you know? Do that down there, by the way, because it just creates an instant sort of contour line. So when you go to contour, we've got a little rough guide. Because who doesn't want a little guide? Then also, I know it's wet and we used it for our foundation, but for a top tip here, to create that line, to keep the line, what I normally do is I literally just go underneath it like this and just pat. So then you can see that line there. I know we've got powder on, but there's no harm in just quickly giving it a little patch. Patch. I just did a little noise, didn't I? Sounded like that guy from Family Guy. Then we're gonna go back into our two magnificent metals from Stila, and we're gonna add this to our inner corner. Let's watch this pop now. I feel like this is just gonna give us that extra bit of party glam. You can go underneath if you want with the glitter, but I feel like this is maybe enough for me. For me, me, me. For me, 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 me. Okay, so I put some mascara and I put some eyeliner in my waterline. Now, we're gonna get that face a little bit more bronzy. Does it look bronzy now? Well, it's gonna look even more bronzy in a second. I'm gonna take the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix Foundation. I think it's a foundation. In the colour 190, whatever it is. I don't want it to be really dark and I don't want it to contour, but I just wanna give a bit more colour. I like to put a cream contour underneath. I just feel like my contour sits on top of a cream contour better. Does that sound funny? Well, I hope it doesn't sound funny. <laughs> it's definitely not funny. <laughs> I'm actually buzzing off my eye makeup. I think it's so nice. I'm gonna go with a dark lip, but you can do a nude lip if you want, so. You can do whatever lip you want. I mean, you don't even need to recreate this makeup look, but. Then to contour, I'm gonna take my three steps to sculpt, NYX, and the color light. My mouth just went really funny there, in the color light. Then I'm gonna take this on my NARS Kabuki Eda brush. I just nearly dropped it, sorry. Okay, then we're just gonna go here and brush it up. This brush is life. It does all the work for you, I swear. Look at it. This brush is life. Cost me an arm and a leg though, so let's not talk about it. Then I'm gonna go down my nose. I don't really normally contour my nose, but apparently this brush is amazing for it, so let's give it a little whirl. At the end as well there, create a little button nose, you know do. I actually really like this contour palette from NYX. It's got like a little white shade in it, yellowy shade to bake with and sort of brighten. It's literally a highlight and contour wheel. And then the highlight is so golden, it's beautiful. We'll use a bit today, shall we? Actually, I don't know what highlight I'm using. Not actually too sure. As soon as I know, I'll let you know. Oh, I do know what we're gonna highlight with. I've just seen it and I know what we're gonna highlight with. I'm so excited. So if you do want to make that a little bit sharper, you can literally dip that beauty blender that we baked in earlier into the yellow shade of that palette and just cut it a tiny bit more like that. Cause who doesn't want a sharp contour? If you don't then, I completely understand, but I do. Then we're just gonna wipe that away like so. Cute, I've cut that contour, haven't I? I've cut that contour, have I? I feel like I have. I feel like that contour is a pointy, like it is sharp. Anyway, I'm gonna take the Mario Badesco spray and spray my face, just to give my, <clears throat> actually didn't taste that bad, rosy, okay, nice. Just to give my face a little bit more wetness. Sometimes I put a lot of powder, I feel like it sort of deflates my face, it makes it look a bit flat. When I put spray on it, I feel like it brings it back to life. Hello. Then I can't even explain to you how excited I am to use this. I got this and I have never used it. I've got no, actually I do have the dip brow pomade, but I have nothing from Anastasia. Just drop the little clear sleeve out. I've not nothing from Anastasia Beverly Hills, but look at this. 
This is the Aurora Glow Kit. One of my favourite names. One of my favourite names ever, Princess Aurora. So, we're going to take... Oh, I'm so excited. We're going to take... Let's take a little bit of Eclipse and a little bit of Luna. Lovely names. Beautiful names. Oh, I'm not even showing you. Eclipse and Luna. Ooh. Normally I always put a liquid highlight underneath, but I'm just going to go straight in today. Should we wet it a tiny bit? Let's spray it with a little bit of wetness as well. Who cares? We're going to go all in. Oh my god. Oh my. Hello. Hello. Hello! There's a reason everyone talks about the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. Because of this! I'm sorry, but I'm so excited. This makeup, like, I'm so excited for it. Like, I just love it. I really like it. I'm going to Tesco right now with my dad after this, so Tesco better be ready. They're probably not ready. They're probably not ready. Take a bit up here. Look at that. <gasps> it's amazing! It's Christmas. We should be disco balls. We should be disco balls. That's such a shout. I should call this something to do with a disco ball. Okay. Hopefully I did. Because I feel like this is quite disco ball -y, isn't it? It's cute, no? Got the glitter everywhere. Glow like a glitter ball this Christmas. With me. Think I need any more? No, I don't. I'm only joking. Mm, I probably do. I love to glow. Take a little bit of the Benefit California blush and just add a little bit of this to our cheeks just to blend into that contour and make our cheeks look a little bit more rosy. Buzz. B to the us in off this makeup soz, but I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself. Don't you do makeup sometimes and you're like, I'm actually buzzing off this makeup look. Imagine I edit it back and I'm like, oh, emo. Oh, emo. But I'm not my kind of person. Like, if I edit something and I feel like my makeup's not amazing, I'm still going to put it up because that's just me. I don't want to hide and show you that sometimes... Because I make mistakes. I do make mistakes. You all know that. And I feel like I'm not that person that can just be like, can't put this up. I wish I was. I wish I was a perfectionist and was like, oh, no. But I feel like that is my channel. I'm just... I'm just very honest, I'm very open, I'm very me, so, and that is me, and I wouldn't be being myself if I didn't put something up just because the footage wasn't great. Once you've added the lips, you're just like, yes, the makeup is complete. So, you can go with a really nudie colour, it would look really nice with a soft pink nude, it would look so nice with a soft pink nude, but I'm gonna go dark, I'm gonna go dark, because... Why, why not? Why not? Because why not? That's basically it. So this is, I should probably tell you what I'm putting on my lips before I actually do it. This is the Makeup Forever Liquid Matte and I think it's in the colour DD? No it's not. 207. 207. Could be called DD, that's quite cute isn't it? Cute name. Okay, give me life. Give me life and love me forever. These Makeup Forever lipsticks are so creamy, they don't dry. I wore this all day and night one day, didn't crack. Loved me. I'm obsessed with it. You know some of those matte lipsticks you put on and you're like, oh my god, this is so drying. But you love the colour. Not with this. Sometimes when I put lipstick on, I'm like, oh, I want to talk. Obviously. Shock horror. <laughs> this, my angels, is the finished makeup look. I am so, so, so happy with this makeup look. Like, I think you can wear this out. I'm going to Tesco, so I'm going to wear this to Tesco. I'll let you know the reaction. I'm sure people are going to look at me like, are you alright? And I'm going to be like, yeah, I'm absolutely fine. I'm absolutely fine, babes. I'm actually loving my life, so thanks very much for asking. <laughs> I really like this makeup look. I'm so buzzing off it. I've done a little halo eye, a kind of halo eye, is it? Yeah, it's a halo eye with a dark lip. You can pair this with a nude lip. You can do whatever you gotta do. So I'm gonna zoom you out, take my hair out, and we're gonna love our life. But I love the glow. I love my skin. I love the base makeup. I just love everything. I know I'm like being like, I did this, but I'm buzzing off it. Like, yes. Yes, we did this together. Yay. If, if you do recreate this, please, please, please tag me on my Instagram or tag me on Twitter or Snapchat me. All my social media handles will link down below. And I just, I love communicating with you. I love talking to all of you. I just love you all so much. I actually feel like this makeup looks really nice with my hair sort of slick here behind my ears and just sort of chilling. I actually really like this. Please let me know if you like it. I think it's cute. You can pull your hair off wherever you want. You can wear your hair up. You can do whatever you, oh, we can put our hair up. Should we put our hair up? No, I think down's cute, isn't it? Down's cute. Anyway, I'll probably put it up as soon as we've finished this video. I love you all so much. Thanks for watching. Please give this a massive thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you're new here. Please, please, please join my family of Huns. Join it for the new year. Let's all go into the new year together. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so if you're new here, then basically I play this game where I mime a song on my channel and you just gotta guess that sound. <laughs>
So a wonderful angel I met before I started YouTube, whose name's Charlotte. She is an angel. She is an inspiration to me. She is incredible. Bull. Like she is an independent boss lady. She inspires me. Like, she has started up her brand from literally nothing. When she told me the story about it, I never forget it. I was sitting there like, I love you and I want to be you. You're amazing. I was like, I love you. Anyway, she contacted me and told me that her niece watches me, Olivia Marie. Olivia Marie, I love you so much. Thank you for being a hun. Thank you for appreciating anything I put up. Thank you for watching my videos. I'm so grateful. So to all of you huns, I hope you have the best Christmas ever. Obviously, I'm going to see you anyway, so. I've been doing vlogmas anyway, so I'm seeing you every day. But I love you all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for supporting me. I love you all more than you'll ever know. So yeah, until next time, angels. I'm going to love you. And I'm going to leave. Where has my voice gone? Like, <clears throat> I don't know but I'm gonna get lipstick all over you but I put on elderflower high juice from Marks and Spencer's so you come through you come through you came through you ran through you did whatever because I love you <laughs>